So Ultron was created to kill all the supers, so there's no reason for a villain to be have the want to take over. Listen, so apparently there's a cartoon version of the Avengers that Ultron bodied up, but then, you know, the Avengers got they lick back on the Avenger movie, but I know nothing about the cartoon, but guess what? Blank Boy is about to tell us this today. Let's see. These Avengers, me, I had the ultimate Avengers. What y'all young whippersnappers know about mm. this? This was my MCU. And it starts off with Unk with the Avengers kids at bedtime. And what they did to little bro right here should be child abuse. Sat him down in the chair and asked the for the Vegeta, heart monitor. Gita, They're begging for their crazy. favorite bedtime story. And so Unk starts telling them it. A story about the Avengers and all their glorious mm. adventures. On the roster, they had Captain America, okay. Thor, Iron Man, Black Widow, Giant Man, Pixie. Who, yes, they're Giant the equivalents man. of Ant-Man and Wasp, just different names. Black Panther, Vision, Hawkeye on a 10-day contract. And as you can see, Hulk got Jason Tatum. They put his ass on the bench because in the <laughs> last movies, they had to jump him because he didn't know how to act. They defeated Kang the Conqueror, Evil Giant Shit Hold up, so, yo, somebody told me that Kang, Jonathan Majors, got his role back as Kang. Can anybody please verify that information for me? And Baron Zemo, and eventually all settled down. Cap and Nat having James, Giant Man mm -hmm. and Janet having Pym, T'Challa and Storm having Azari, and Thor went back to Asgard, leaving his baby girl Torin on Earth. Thor really out here engaging in child abandonment. Nigga been in New York for too long. Nah, word. On <laughs> oldest son, I'm not jacking my daughter. But eventually Ultron shows up, killing Captain America. Got the king dangling that boy in the out air of here. to his Whoa. death. And he doesn't stop there. Blackwood is out here and he hits that bitch with the Stephen A. Smith face. Makes death. And he doesn't stop there. Blackwood is... All right, rule 34, I'm on my way. He's out here and he hits that bitch with the Stephen A. Smith face, making her, Iron Man, Giant Man, and Wasp all spectate the Elvis Prince and Michael <laughs> Jackson dance off. Ultron eventually just murks everyone and completely takes over the world. And looking at it now, reading them bedtime stories about how their parents got murked is type insane. Mm. And then, Master Wayne, your dad tried to fight off the robber, but once he whipped out the blicky, he turned into a respectful young man. <laughs> Bro, I was there. But luckily, the Avengers managed to ship off their kids to a remote destination so they can continue to live. Mm. And this is where we get to a 12-year time skip, and the kids are trying to wake James up, Azari stabbing him, and ends up eating straight mud for it. And you can't blame James. Nobody want to be woken up mid-sleep, especially not like that. Consider yourself lucky, to be honest. He could have made your worst fears a reality. Could have given you a lineup. James walks out, and That's man, the aura crazy. is really unmatched. No way you did that to the prince of Wakanda. Bro, Wakanda is toast now. That nigga Why my man built like that? into Haiti. Let it go. And for whatever reason, James just started letting it fly. And hey, I know your ass not breathing. Asgard perfectly fine and Thor got your ass living in a fucking apocalypse. <laughs> and Torrens heard enough, jumping down and they clash with one another. But it doesn't last long because Unk interrupts to stop it and sends them to their room. They in there complaining about Unk and Vision pops up out of nowhere, but they ready to go. Thing is, they didn't even get the chance because bro just collapses to the ground and that's when Unk comes into the room and takes him to the lab. Whereas you can see, Ultron did him greasy, turned Vision's mainframe into that of a Game Boy. The kids, of course, follow Unk into the lab secretly, and they're snooping around until they find Seeing Unk's the OG suits? Avengers he built to fight Ultron. Oh, yes. Let's use robots to fight the AI that controls electronics. Mm. When Thanos arrives, he probably plans to throw fucking Infinity Stones at his head. James, that's not your dad. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Daddy, do you remember me? Man, it wasn't supposed to end this way. You should have seen the woman before your mom. She was special. <sighs> Yo, that hey, big man modern. documentary, though? Fire. James and Torin must have accidentally pressed something because they turned on all the Armored Avengers and now they're already programmed, tasked with defeating Ultron. Okay. They start heading out there to go run the fade. Armored Cap hitting James with that Billy G. Yo, why is he trying to stop him like it's his actual dad is a robot, buddy? Relax. But the kid is not my son. And they dip out to go find Ultron. But the thing is, Ultron been watching this whole time the second the robots went live. Mm. Look at him standing there. Menacingly. 
This is the Ultron I knew. Bro was so spooky. So when I saw this nigga pop up in the MCU cracking dad jokes, I was like, huh? <laughs> Why was the robot tired when he got out the car? It had a hard drive. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So Ultron used his abilities to take over the world. But that does not have to be the case for us. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, NordVPN. Nord I know a lot of you guys love movies and TV shows just like me. So I can personally speak to how great NordVPN is because look at this. I can watch Spider-Man on Netflix right now. My favorite cartoon of all time is Spongebob. Been binging it on Netflix. And there's so much more. Oh, they got band geeks on Netflix? I might need to tap in or I'm on my way, baby. More. We got any of the Office fans in here? But no, 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 no. The Office is garbage, all right? The Office is one of the most unfunny shows on the planet. Yes, they have some good memes. They made some good gifs, gifs, whatever you call it, all right? They're okay. But the show is butt, okay? It's trash. But how are they in one place? You're supposed to need 37 different subscriptions to watch these. And it's because NordVPN allows you to change your servers. Literally all I had to do was switch from USA to London servers and now I'm able to access content that otherwise I wouldn't be able to. And it's really that simple. Right now if you use my link in the description, you'll get a crazy discount of a two year plan plus an additional four months. Just go to NordVPN slash Blankboy. Hold up, is NordVPN only uh? A VPN service? Does it secure your computer too? Because I'm going to need that, man. I got... We're not going to talk about To help right support now. the channel. There's also the mind-boggling fact that depending on where you live, membership and subscription fees vary. I remember my mind was blown when I figured this out. Something like Microsoft 365 is essential. And if you change your servers from USA to, let's say, Colombia, you'll see how the price drops significantly. And that's not all NordVPN does. Like I mentioned earlier, there's Ultron data breaches happening constantly worldwide. NordVPN protects you from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads, covers your IP, keeping your crazy. browsing to yourself. No one can track what you're doing online. And it has ultra fast connection. There's no sacrificing speed for protection. You get the best of both worlds. So just head over to NordVPN slash Blankboy and get your risk-free experience. 30-day money-back guarantee. Link in the description. There's literally no better deal on the internet. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. But Ultron found them and he's on his way right now. And I'm not talking about black people I'm on my way and haven't even showered yet. That's that crazy. boy dipped immediately because the Armored Avengers go out and they see him flying up in the sky. Giant Man thinking he's like that flying up and Ultron comes down beaming him through the head instantly. Ultron's just straight boosting on the Avengers at this point, windmilling after the game is over and shit. He then comes up behind Microsoft Black Widow and starts hacking her, <laughs> which wasn't predictable at all. Whoa, 2K dropped another shitty game. Unk tells them to get out of here so oh, they, they do with Vision's head and Vision's not used to the Avengers acting scary like this. I'm so sorry, I forgot there's some bitch niggas in here. The sky <laughs> turns out to just be a dome and luckily Torn just manages to fly them out the way of the debris. They were knocked out for a bit, but when they wake up, there's a bunch of white stuff falling. These motherfuckers been camping in a tiny globe and them boys was in the Truman Show. That's tough. Demi Lovato's room this whole time. And the entire place goes to black, sounding the alarms. No different than the Krusty Krab. Broke nigga alert. alert. Broke nigga is alert. Is it talking about me? Broke nigga I alert. Think so, my nigga. Broke nigga. And this is where Ultron makes his entrance, descending down onto them like a metal grim reaper. Okay. Shit was so spooky got me clutching my PS5 and PC. Stay away. And Ultron already knows that these preteens are easy pickings for him. Hate to break it to y'all, but looking at these power levels, all y'all niggas adopted. This can't be the Avengers kids. But it's time for Ultron to pick on somebody his own size. Niggas be 40 with 15 year old ops. Cause out of nowhere, as Ultron goes to kill them, Iron Man grabs him by the head and throws his ass into the forest. I'm team cap for life, but god damn Iron Man and team cap stay going crazy. Look at their faces, look like they seen a ghost, and that's because they're seeing a ghost. How is Iron Man alive? It turns out Unk was Tony Stark this whole time. I wonder how they never put two and two together. When niggas somehow knew stories about Hawkeye getting caught beating his shit in the weapons room, that should have raised some red flags. Iron Man tells him to skedaddle, flies up shooting lasers, weaves Ultron, kick, gets blocked, and holds a left. 
Ultron dropped off the entire Avengers squad by himself, and Iron Man really running the ones with him right now. This real one, got nerds. real one. Steel, catching a two piece from Ultron, lasering him, and they trade misses as Tony dips into the forest. Tony knows he's washed. I can't blame him. This is Wizards MJ, Celtic Shaq, Brooklyn Nets KG. Rudy Gobert his entire career. <laughs> so Iron Man's still just flying in. God damn, bro. Just look at the artwork. Look how clean this all looks. He boosts more and eventually lands, turning around, gearing up, and visually can see him lock in. This movie really came out in 08 and still looks better than like the Black Widow movie. Oh, this was a that movie? That junk looked like it belonged on Nick Jr. Yo, the Black Widow movie, waste the space, bruh. Garbanzo beans. Worse, worse than Shang-Chi, okay? What people say Eternals is, that's what Black Widow movie actually is. Eternals is peak, okay? Peak. Here with the Thundermans, bro. The kids get to the Quinjet and they tell Vision they'll be right back. What was that? Junior with the Thundermans, bro. The kids get to the Quinjet and they tell Vision they'll be right back. We going to help Tony. That is toast. As he locks the doors and pilots the Quinjet out of there. He knows Tony just went on a mission that he's not coming back from to save them. So he's not going to make it in vain. And they finally get to see where they've been living this whole time. They've been in the Antarctic, but that's probably their first time seeing snow. That's ironic. That's like being best friends with The Rock and being confused as to what a shitty movie looks like. How's that possible? Ultron lands a left and then a right uppercut into a boulder on Iron Man, then starts hacking his armor. Gonna have Tony pull in an offset. Bro got caught cheating on Cardi B in the DMs and pretending to be hacked. Right Talking That's about crazy. some balls in my face. But Tony manages to blast Ultron away, got him hitting the oh nah. Aisha Curry's in the kitchen again, and he just takes the shoulder pads off his suit. We done we with the man. 80s, nobody rocking that shit no more. Blue 42, blue 42, <laughs> stupid ass. Iron Man dodges the blast and they take turns missing and messing up the forest, picking up a rock and Ultron just punches it. But Tony's fight comes to an end, unfortunately. I'm gonna pour one out for you, Tin Man. Got my bottle of oil right here. Ultron misses and then blasts Tony to the ground, throwing his helmet to his feet. This is so disrespectful. Bro, this y'all goat? Damn, Scar. Where was all this fight when I was stabbing Hawkeye with an HDMI cord? And then the Armored Avengers pull up to Tony, but not to save him. They pulling up to put an end to bro. What? This man, Tony, stay going to build the op. It's later revealed that Tony created Ultron and now fucked up and built him an army. Nigga, put the hammer down, please. Then Ultron starts live streaming it so the kids can see. Avengers pack, thank you for the sub. So the Avengers kids, led by Captain Sperm, escape to the city where Ultron, of course, controls. And while they're in the city, it's important for me to point out that Torn's dumbass thinks she's invincible. She's mistaken and thinks her being an Asgardian god means she can't die. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Wait. wait till this bitch plays God of War. So she runs in there slashing one of the Ultron dogs in half. And that made the whole block hot. Everybody knows where they at now. So some R2-D2 ass nigga drops down and starts spraying at her and then she manages to jump out the way of another. But his arm is extended out now, so she treats that shit like a piece of salami, cutting and throwing it back at bro. Mm -hmm. But Ultron got more homies than a shorty back. cheating on her boyfriend. Now all of a sudden every nigga in the county is her practical brother from elementary school. A bunch more drop down and she runs over cutting one down and they start spraying the heck out of her. This reminds me of the scene from the Avengers, but the difference is Shorty is not the Hulk because she gets blasted and is looking at her hand like post nut clarity. She can't believe she took damage getting blasted a second time. And while she's over there smelling like just barbecue stand chicken, there for the her brothers shot. come to save the day. Pim starts blasting it. Yeah, bitch ass nigga Wally, stop playing with me. I'm like that. And starts blasting it again. But this printer trying to do the dash. So Azari and James manage to cut it off as Azari blasts it. And James uses his shield to protect them from the debris and fire. Mans. But unfortunately, Torin wasn't as lucky. Because she gets back up from her nap, her forehead beaming from that blast just to get stomped on like a cockroach. Shoe print all over her body, laid out there looking like Flat Stanley. That's so tough. The writers really wanted to give her the craziest wake up call to the fact that she's not immortal. Next, Pim is gonna be cocky thinking he's the smallest thing on earth and get humbled seeing Polo G's fan base. Torin wakes up to see her pops and this That's man crazy. grabs her by the head and slams her into the ground. Shorty knew she was cooked, started begging to Thor for help and he looking down on her from Asgard with that Kobe smirk. <laughs> and the boys didn't get a chance to help because they start getting shot at by the Armored Avengers, but just randomly, literally out of nowhere, get saved. Azari gets dragged into the wall, followed by Pim next, and James as well. Leaving Torrin behind, and she's fried rice, still calling out to her mm. father, but that nigga sending her to voicemail every time. 
So the armored Avengers are ready to feast, but Thor gets boomed and randomly swoops in to save the day. And this is Who's Francis that? Barton. Turns out Clint had a son and he's been alive this whole time as well, living in the slums and eating batteries. So going through Ultron City, the kids manage to stumble across Ultron's trophy room, and in it, they see Iron Man's armor in there too. Got Boy, imagine you walk in somebody's trophy room and y'all see your whole family, a whole generation of y'all just sitting there, collected. Oh my God, bro, you better do some, ah, you better power up. You gonna need it. The entire squad in tears. And James also looks at his pops and how Ultron took my man. Look at my man's mask, bro. Bro, I'm going straight to the hyperbolic time chamber till I can come out and 1v1 Ultron, bro. That's what's gonna happen. Shiesty. And James accidentally pressed the button showing the entire rest of the trophy room. Ultron really killed every super being, bro. How the fuck Magneto lose? But they eventually find Tony. Turns out he's alive. Ultron Howdy. pulls up on them with the Armored Avengers. Magneto Barnes lose. bails them out again, and they all manage to escape to the Quinjet. Soon after. Hey, twin, what you- Hold up, but I- I Okay, look. Hear me out. Hear me out. Peep, peep, peep game, okay? Isn't the reason in Batman why villains are created is because Batman takes justice into his own hands. Okay, that's how you get the Riddler, the Joker, you know what I'm saying? Because he really got the money to change the world, but he rather take vengeance, vengeance into his own hands. So Ultron was created to kill all the supers. So there's no reason for a villain to be have the want to take over. You know what I'm saying? Is Ultron peak? Well, it don't matter because we get in Dr. Doom next, all right? Put on the ox. Finna put on some Kyle. Nigga, Kyle? What Kyle you know? I spy with my little eye. A curly headed cutie I could turn into my wife. So they eventually make it out to a remote location, running into Betty and Bruce Banner. Mm. So you mean to tell me Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor all alive and haven't, we need to get the band back together, head ass, to be Ultron yet? But it doesn't matter now, because the Armored Avengers are here, ready to put an end to all this. Mm. Giant Man punches the cliff, and they all fall out, but Torrin saves Azari and James, landing them safely, ready to go. Same time they doing all that, the rest of the Armored Avengers pull up, her turning her hands into two pistols. But that's no problem for the children. Thank God it's James' weak-ass parent and not Steve. Because he easily blocks the bullets, but Azari gets tackled away by Mech Black Panther going rolling away. And all the parents <laughs> must have decided we taken a page out of Fire Lord Ozai's book, boxing up our kids. Because Robot Thor goes into the sky to get his 1v1 fade with Torrin. And if there's one thing Tony got right about these Avengers bots, it's Captain America's unwillingness to kill. They be fine for real, just a little hurt. Because he definitely didn't try to fucking decapitate James before getting blown up by Barton last minute. But then Black Widow attacks James and Barton gets boomed off the rock, shooting off his own arrow at his pops, blowing him up and he thought he had done it. Started celebrating like he just won game 7. Because Robot Hawkeye gets up looking like Finn the Human, but bro just makes another one with his right arm. And the smile faded so fast, I'm crying. And you know how 12 dudes will be chasing somebody talking about, oh, look at him, track star, track star. Yeah, Hawkeye done turned Barton into a gymnast to dodge these bombs. So the cameraman pans away, and Unc Tony is useless right now. He's got no other suit. MCU mm. Iron Man clears this nigga. He would have called in a spare one down from fucking Saturn. True. So Giant Man loads up a mean right punch in the mountain, making Tony fall out of it. Uncle pushing 90, his fragile Derek Rose bones won't be able to survive this fall. So James ducks his lame ass mom and then bounces off Cap's shield to catch Tony and surf him to safety. Giant Man causing too many problems, so James tells Pym to get on that and he does, flying in there and turning giant for the first time. Kicking his ass into the side of the mountain and it got the entire thing shaking, got Bruce acting mad scary. I did not marry the Unincredible Hulk. You won't be able to stay here and drink your cactus juice if Ultron wins, Bruce. The cameraman then transfers his sights over to the Prince of Rubble after what Ultron did to them, Azari. Prince Azari, of Rubble is crazy. his shots, whips out his belt on his own pops. That's insane work. For an African? Bro, that, that's the ultimate super... You, you whip out the belt on your parents as an African? Yo. <laughs>
How are you doing? Uh, nothing, son. What did I tell you about talking to strangers? Now he's gonna kick my butt! Hitting him, then kicks down a knee and throws him into the pile of rocks afterwards. That was a clean move. But then Black Panther literally turns into a panther, which was actually a power he had in this universe, with claws and everything, circling Azari, slowly got my boy no. nervous as Black Panther lunges at him and the screen just goes black. Did he live? Did he die? Next time on Dragon, on Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Z. Torin and Thor are clashing with right left sword hit, but then he grabs her and hits her down, but she manages to catch herself and start levitating. She's clearly found her zen, she's in the zone. My father doesn't love me and it's cool, I've accepted it. Catching the sword and going back in. I like how everyone is fighting their dad right now, it's, it's dope. If I was in this movie, the air would really be catching these hands, no cap. James blocks Cap twice, rolling and throwing his shield at the mountain to cause it to fall on top of Captain America. But he looks up after and his mom up there, moving like a Decepticon, shooting at him, breaking his shield. So he grabs the actual shield and so when she lands with her sights aimed on him, he is able to throw it at her, cutting off three of her arms and launching himself right at her while Pym continues to show his dad who's daddy leaving his right and shooting beams up close, putting Giant Man on his butt for what's like the 10th time. So he calls for backup, sending Pixie at Pym, spam blasting him, so James tells Pym to go get Bruce. So he does, but Bruce refuses to turn into the Hulk. Bro, Bruce trash, bro. Bruce, Bruce Banner trash, bro. The Hulk garbage. Yes, you got a nice little ride down at Disney, okay? Or Adventure Islands, which isn't Disney, it's Universal. But um, your character in these shows... It's pretty butt. Hulk and help them. And I'm not even surprised. Look at his cut. That's a nigga who don't care about anything, bro. True. But he doesn't really have a choice anymore. Because the pixies start blasting him. And he starts getting tight. And unleashes the incredible Hulk. And bro, there we go. That's what we need to see. time. Jumping off, blasting Giant Man's head off with one shot. Then jumps down, posing like he on the cover of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> I'm in danger. And then he starts getting tickled. So he grabs Black Widow, slamming her on repeat, calling GG's, sent her back to the lobby screen. Ultron peeps his homies getting dropped like flies. So he flies above and starts cooking the Hulk and lands behind him, grabbing his air like he about to start talking to him mid strokes. And whatever he was offering, Bruce wasn't trying to hear all that. That Riz was not going to work. <laughs> Fuck I look like. Karen? So he punches Ultron through the ground into the mountain and goes over as Ultron starts slicing up the mountain with lasers. Hulk got a thousand more muscles than the average person except in his brain because he sees Ultron and just jumps on top of him. No strategy, no nothing. And surprise, surprise, it didn't work because the dust settles and Ultron holding him with one hand, throwing him into the mountain. Hulk is angry and sprints back in and the incredible title just keeps whittling more and more. Went from incredible Hulk to impressive Hulk so now the kind of cool I guess Hulk cause Ultron is giving him the business. Eyes wide open looking back like he just seen something he really like. We then pan over to Azari vs Black Panther in a tug of war. And to be honest bro, me talking over this scene just wouldn't do it justice. So I'ma just let Lil Bro get this off his chest himself. Okay. You're not the Black Panther. Talk that talk, Azari. I'm not surprised Black Panther and Storm's kid is a demon. That's why Peter stopped fucking with Mary Jane and got with Captain Marvel instead. Mm. Bro trying to make sure his son makes the league. Barton then calls Gigi on his dad, we shooting need some both real and then one into the dome. Hawkeye right. gets back up, but he out of batteries, so Barton walks over so nonchalant, booming his shits, laying him out, and I'm not surprised he did. Hawkeye wasn't in the original's Ultimate Avengers roster, but he must have been a free agent pickup down the road. <laughs> Torn hits a spin move, stabbing Thor, slicing him in half like butter, and James with the power of his pops, using the actual shield instead he of choked. the Payless hologram one, throws it at Captain America, also cutting him in half. Bruh, he had to choke the head off. Pause. You choked the head. You choked it. He should have popped it. All right, there's no way to say this. We're just going to continue the, the, the video. And something I always think about is how graphic deaths like these be, but it's not because it's robots. Mm -hmm. Like the Transformers was really ripping off arms and slapping niggas <laughs> with it or chopping faces in half. But then he looks over and the Hulk is low-key getting beamed, but he kind of tanking that junk. Looked like Rihanna out there getting closer to Ultron. But while he reaches out, we see that it eventually cooked him as he falls to the ground. The kids peep that and still think they have a chance. Straight blind faith must be Dallas Cowboys fans because they're talking about jump his ass while Ultron. Dallas ain't winning five games this year, okay?
That's what my parlay say. I'm just laughing at them and booms them instantly. Pim is the first one to get back up, going into his tiny form to fly in there, but he didn't anticipate Ultron's breath smelling like Badusi, because that shit knocks him out, landing on the <laughs> Hulk. Azari saw Lil Bro get laid out and decided it was his time to shine, using the move he just used on his pops on Ultron. Shooting off a Kamehameha that Ultron just nonchalantly starts absorbing into himself. All that electricity feels jumped. good as hell, like some crack for him. Ain't that right, RDJ? And he fires it right back at Azari, laying him out. Torrin's stupid ass thought she was getting her moment, but that sword did nothing and starts getting choked out. She ends up getting saved because James jumps in there tripping Ultron with the shield, but okay. starts getting beamed by Ultron's lasers Doing some and damage. is straight up cornered with no other choice than to just block. I mean, the damage was five. Really talking about I couldn't take over Earth. All hope is looking <laughs> lost. Everyone is either laid out or the brink of turning into dust from old Hulk So on. Pim does the only thing he can think of and tries to get the Hulk back up. Ultron said you a bitch. He said I bet Betty tastes like honey nut cheers. And he said Hulk don't even be smashing shit for real. And that was all Hulk needed to hear. Grabbing Ultron's head, running and slamming him, and got bro in missionary. Tell him about Hulk don't be smashing shit no more. I'm gonna show you some smashing, nigga. Picking Ultron up, jump ripping him in half. Need to jump that's him. GG's. It's over. Hulk so he could have did that the whole time? Bro, it, it, Ultron a robot, bro. My man don't got endurance. It's not like you uh wear them down and then did it. You could have did that the whole time. Hulk goes to get Betty, and they Freaking dip off worthless. to who knows where. And Ultron is laying there hitting the Peter Griffin, <laughs> but he's hardwired to put himself back together, so that's what he's doing. So Torin flies Ultron into space to stop him. Oh, MCU oh, Iron Man oh, stole oh, her whole oh. shit, but she's choking and is about to die. And her pops finally saves her and offers her to come to Asgard. And she's like, nah, broski, I made the league, and now you're trying to come back in my life? True. I already got a family. Gives him a hug and goes back down in the new fit, and it's happily ever after. All right, all right, this was a banger, okay? I never tapped in to uh, the Ultimate Avengers, I think it's called. Never really tapped into that. The only cartoon I watched, like, uh, uh, Dark, the not the Dark Knight, what's it? Batwing, what, what was the, what was the, 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 the Batman, the slim with the black suit and the red, what was his, Nightwing? I watched the Nightwing show. Never really. I watched the uh, Justice League. Um, the the Hulk I knew was on Dexter's Laboratory. Damn, up yo yo yeah yeah. Go ahead and make them comments down below, and I'm gonna be. Uh, we can't make them jokes anymore, cause. Listen, why you sleep at night? <laughs> I'm gonna be under your bit. See, you can't even joke like that, cause it's really a boogeyman joke. But they gon' make P. Diddy jokes, bruh. I'ma see y'all later. Peace. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. Honey K Hala, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama.